Our team coverage for you tonight with Bureau Chief Gary Bryan. He got a look at how conditions are right now just south of Vincennes. Patrice Rondrell, I'm here south of Vincennes where the National Weather Service has confirmed that a tornado did touch down. Now it looks like a big open field here, but let me get behind the camera here and show you what we're dealing with. Now I'm here just by Band Mill Road. However, uh, if you can see way off the distance there, we had uh, some power lines that came down. Let me just get to work in here. You can see that we've got some power crews out. They're working to get these, the power back in order. As I pan to the right here, you can see that's one of these major big power lines that's still standing. But as you can see, the power lines there go to the ground. It looks like about three or four of those power lines did fall on the ground. Now, flooding was a major issue in Vincennes as well today. As you look at this video, you can see that water was pretty much all the way over 6th Street near US 41. This includes part of the on-ramp onto US 41. Here south of Vincennes, Sheriff Doug Vantlin says a truck was overturned due to the wind. He also says a barn and a home was partially moved off of its foundation. Now, I spoke with a number of folks who were dealing with the weather today. A lineman was working in the area. He said he saw some of the power lines come down. I didn't see that one come down. I looked that way and I seen that one come down right there. So it was a domino effect from that way going that way. Have you ever seen it like this? No, I have never. I've lived in Vincent for five years while going to school here and I've never seen it this bad. Now I wanted to take a chance to show you guys this. This is probably the most beautiful sight I've seen all day. That's a little bit of the sun poking through here just south of town, kind of showing that things are slowly starting to calm down here south of Vincennes. Now I'm going to jump out in front of here and to just tell you that to today in Linton, things got as pretty bad.